In this version, we get an additional 20 modern textures, bringing the total to 30. These are applied on top of your own image, and Adobe automatically creates a texture layer with layer mask, where you can tweak the results to your own liking. So let's jump into the editor application and um, see how we can use these textures. And I already have a few images to try out. And we access the textures in the quick mode. So if we go to quick mode and down at the bottom, you can see this button textures. If, you, if it's not open, just click on textures and they will appear. And it's just a matter of clicking through each one and seeing which, um, which, which works. Um, I mean, that gives a very funky look. But I think something simple like this will work best with this photo. And if we go back to the advanced mode, you can see the uh, quick edit that has been created in a separate layer with a layer mask. I, mean, I will show you how to use those on the other images, how to, how to tweak the uh, effects. But for this one, I think it's complete. And um, for me, that's done. And I think that's a big improvement. So this next one, let's go back to quick mode and textures. And um, I'm going to go this one at the bottom. I think we've got a fairly plain background and this one should blend in quite nicely. And um, you can see what's happened there. Um, in the quick mode, you can choose to view before and after if you want to see them side by side. Or simply go back to the advanced mode and on the top layer, the adjustment layer, the quick texture, you can click the eyeball on and off. That's before, that's after. Before, that's after. So there's two ways of doing it really. What I want to do is go to the layer mask and choose the brush tool and make sure the color chip is set to black. But I'm not going to paint with solid black. I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 20%. And um, I say ensure the blue outline is around, around the mask. And then I'm going to use a fairly large brush. So I'm going to use the bracket keys to, um, to, to increase the size of the brush. And I'm going to paint right over this. And because I'm painting with um, low opacity, I'm slowly building up. You can see in the, in, in the mask, it's only going to grey. If I paint a little bit more, you can see it starts to get a darker grey because of the opacity build up. And you can use this really to just get a unique photograph exactly how, how you want it. So that's another example. So let's close that one down. Um, let's go back to the quick mode and um, let's try this top one, the love heart. And yeah, that's, um, that's a nice effect. Again, you can go back to the advanced mode and you can choose to reduce the opacity slider until you get something that you like. I mean, I think probably something like that is quite, um, quite subtle and quite attractive. So I think you get the idea. Let's close that one down. And this next one is a group of young women. So let's go back to quick and see if we can find something um, something suitable for this photo. This is, it's quite a cool photo. Let's try this blue one. I mean, it, it kind of um, makes it a little bit too bright, I think. Maybe this one below it will work better. Um, that doesn't seem to do very much for me. Um, what about this one? That makes it a little bit too orangey, um, although you could go into the um, the advanced mode and, and, and try uh, painting on the mask with a low opacity. Just paint all across the top here so that the effect is mostly below the waistline. And as you see, you can, you, you can build up this, um, this mask um, by going over and over again and the grey will get darker and darker until you get something that you like. And for me, I think that's pretty good. So let's close that down. And this next one, let's go to the quick mode and find some. This is a, there's already some um, splashing, a splash capture in the, um, in, in, in the photo. So perhaps a little bit of texture like this would, um, would improve it. And yeah, I think that's quite good. 
But I'm going to go to the advanced mode and reduce the opacity a little bit because I don't quite want it so so strong. And I'm going to also select the mask again and just paint over the guys here, just just gradually building up the mask a little bit darker grey. Yeah, I think that's, that works well with that photo because it's an action photo and I say there's already some spray in the photo and that little bit of extra grain just gives it a new a new funky look. So that one's finished, so let's, let's close it down. Now we can see how these um, presets will apply to a black and white photograph. So um, let's try this one here. And that's, uh, again, I think really changes the um, the image and, and, and really adds some dynamic um, colours to a black and white photograph. Let's go back to the advanced mode. Again, I'm going to select the mask and I may just throw a paint over the faces just to bring back a little bit of the... And I think something like that looks pretty good. So you get the idea how you can make these images your own. Um, the textures get applied on top, but you can tweak them to your own liking. So let's close that one down. And finally, we have this band photos. It's quite, uh, it's already quite um, colourful. Maybe this kind of diamond pattern will will work. And again, I quite like that. It's um, it's it, it really adds um, a new dimension to the photo. But let's go to the advanced mode and. Um, Let's try reducing the opacity a little bit. And let's choose the layer mask and start brushing on the bottom of the photo to, to bring back some of the original photograph below the mask. And you can see the grey is starting to build up gradually because using an opacity of 20% gives us more control. Yeah, I think this is starting to look good. And I think I'll stop there. I think you get the idea. I hope you like this new um, feature in Photoshop Elements. 30 textures in the quick mode. Have fun with your own photos. And if you get some value from these videos, please give a thumbs up to like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And that will encourage me to keep making these videos. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.